Good morning, this is Shindo. And this is Lucifera. This morning we're going to be talking very directly about what we've been alluding to in many of our videos about Donald Trump. Now the things that we're going to say we're going to support with the perception of Donald Trump that people have and not only that I'm also going to be we're also going to be supporting it with the description that you can find within the Bible of this beast this beast that rises out of the sea before I get into Bible verses, which I imagine many of our subscribers are not going to particularly care for, I'm going to explain to you why this is important to you. Why this is important to everyone. Now Christians finally are coming out, not very many of them but a few here and there are finally coming out and referring to Donald Trump as the Antichrist. A few of them. Nothing like the amount of Christians that came out and spoke and said that Obama was the Antichrist. Nothing even, even close to that. But there are a few of them. These people in these days to come they can look forward to being persecuted and killed. That is not the direction in which the house of Hillel is going. That is not who we are. This time right now, before he gets in as president, is a crucial time for people to come to this realization. I am not a Christian. I am not going to tell you to get down on your knees and pray to Jesus Christ because it's futile to do that at this point. You are going to be involved, just like all of us, in a world that is going to be so insanely terrifying that with all the perceptions that I have had, and I've had this, I've been waiting for this for... 36 years since I was a child in all the perceptions that I have had of how bad this is going to be it's going to be much worse even in my perceptions I'm not doing this to scare you I'm doing this to prepare you and if I have to put, up, put myself out there and I have to make myself look like a fool to most of you then that's fine with me. It's been, I have been called much worse than that by much better people than I imagine the trolls that are going to troll me on this video will do. So go troll ahead. Those of you who can't deal with what I'm about to talk about, unsub me. I don't care. This is important information I am going to give you as to why it is that this man, Donald John Trump, is the beast. There are two beasts in the book of Revelation. I will be describing that. The importance to you and the importance to those of you who are even remotely interested in what we're doing in the house of Hillel is that the whole of this we will survive. All of it. We will survive. If you choose not to believe this is happening and you choose to continue to put your head in the sand and ignore what is right in front of your eyes, then you will not make it. It's as simple as that. You think you still are holding on to the hopes that it's me, that somehow I'm 
just exaggerating the situation. I'm not. And there are a few out there who are starting to see it. They are Christians. They will not survive this. They don't, they don't need to survive this because the Abrahamic faiths are on their way out and the end of the age is here. But we, the house of Hillel, will survive this, but only if you start listening to what we have to say about this and stop poo-pooing it and pretending it's not happening. There is no other way. There is no other way. This is not entertainment, folks. Lucy and I are here to witness to this. Lucy and I are here to tell you what's going on. This is not entertainment. So wake up, pay attention, because this is why. This is the justification that we give by prophets that happen to be Jewish. Nobody in the Bible, no one who wrote in the Bible was a Christian. They were all Jews or Israelites. So these people just happen to be Jewish, probably Kabbalist Jews, who have witnessed to this and ha who, have, who have in great detail described what we are witnessing before our very eyes. So to the scripture, we are going to go, and if you have a problem with that, then you have a problem with the very core of what we're doing. Because, folks, whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not, these prophecies are being fulfilled before our very eyes. At the end of last year, uh, Shindo and I have were talking about Trump, and we saw the way he was react he was acting on TV. And we said this man has the characteristics of the Antichrist. He is he he is exalting himself. He is blasphemous. He said, "I alone." can solve the country's problems. Now that I alone is very similar to the uh, God that many Christians worshipped. I alone am God. I alone. I alone, I alone. So you see this you see the similarities between the uh between the Antichrist and the God that Christians worship. Okay. This is from the book of Daniel, uh, chapter 8, verse 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without Hand. Looking at Revelation chapter 6, you see the, the uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse, the second horseman, and I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. White horse, white house, he is given the crown. He does not seize it. He's given it peacefully. A lot of people thought Obama was the perfect match for this. But the beast that rises up out of the sea, let me read this out of Revelation chapter 13, then I'll go back and describe what these things mean. Revelation 13, starting with verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, 
and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now, the first verse. I saw a beast rise up out of the sea. This has been interpreted, interpreted long before Donald Trump, long before his presidential campaign. This has been interpreted for years now as the sea being a sea which represents the people, the populist, humans. So this person is going to rise up out of the populace. He's going to be one of the people, just the average people. Now, Donald Trump, of course, is a billionaire, so he's not just an average person. However, he is one of us. There has never been a president, ever, that hasn't been at least a military leader either a political, it either had some kind of political background or was a military leader. Donald Trump has neither. He has never so much as ran for dog catcher. Okay? So he is one of the populace. So the beast rises up out of the populace. It becomes a populist leader. That is a popular leader. The people are what put him in. This is the clearest indication that it's Donald Trump and not uh, Barack Obama because Obama was a senator before he became president. And verse 2, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. In other words, he's going to have that that charisma, that larger-than-life character like Donald Trump. Now, in verse 3, it says that he will receive a deadly wound, and that wound will be healed. Well, I can tell you, there's plenty of people right now who want to see Donald Trump dead, and it's not difficult for me to predict it I'm not really going out there on a limb to predict that there's going to be an assassination attempt within the next two months within the next uh, seven weeks before he's sworn in as president makes sense we'll see just remember folks we were out there saying that Donald Trump would be the next president and nobody uh, was saying that nobody was saying that nobody agreed with us even people supporting Donald Trump thought that us saying bl just just blithely we were just saying it as though it was a matter of fact because that is how we perceived it I myself couldn't even wrap my brain around the idea of Hillary Clinton becoming president I have been raised in a very political home very right-wing political, in case you wonder. When we talk about Revelation, we're coming from a Gnostic viewpoint, not a Christian one. Revelation is not meant for the Christian mindset. This is why so few of them understand it. Now, I did a video about this, and I'm going to find a link, and I'm going to have the title of the video over the link. It will be in the description box several months ago. A rabbi in New Jersey was talking about how Donald Trump is what he called the American Messiah. Now, what finally, honestly, uh, prompted me to do this video this morning was that I was watching a Christian video in which finally, finally, some Christians are waking up to this, but I tell you, they will not survive. They don't have any intention of surviving. They still believe that they're going to be raptured up. That's foolhardy. It's ridiculous. The House of LL will survive this. We will survive this. Those 
who have shown us the respect people who have shown us that they are on our side in this you will survive if you're, you come here this will be where those remnant come from after this is all over with I know this sounds strange to you I know this sounds like I, I'm talking in fairy tales folks you're going to start seeing it for real and you're gonna know I'm not talking in fairy tales this is really not about prophecy it's it's they're f they're fulfilling it it's self-fulfilling prophecy with the people who are in control of this world. Now I can tell you, and I'm going to give you a link here of this video that I saw this morning. Now go the to the description box. I will put a, a number as in to when I said it in this video. This video is going to be long. It's already long. So if you've already made it through this this far, I'm sure you're actually interested in what we're saying. I am going to put a link to this Christian video in which the the Sanhedrin and the Jews, the uh the rabbis in Israel are looking to Donald Trump as the the Messiah. The Messiah Regardless of whatever you think about uh, Obama or any of the other presidents that you thought might have been the Antichrist, I can tell you none of them was being referred to by the Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin didn't even exist. The Sanhedrin are the people who control the temple. The temple is temple building itself is not being built, but all the different uh, things that they need in order to perform sacrifices all the stuff that is that is specifically uh, specifically laid out in the book of Leviticus they have all these things they're just waiting for someone to rebuild the temple so there's never been a time where the Sanhedrin and the Jews are saying that this specific person is the Messiah that has never happened before folks and you've got a man who has the character that has the character to say I am God and you will worship me it is unbelievable to me how so many of you Christians have got wrapped up in this antichrist spirit and if you don't get your head out of it then you are going to go down with the rest of them you're going to jump right in with the rest of them when this mark of the beast is established and it's not far from now I am frustrated and tired because I've been doing this every day 24 7 every day for over five years that I have been trying desperately to get people to listen to this and all I get is a bunch of smart ass dumb ass people out there who can't see what's going on because they've got their head so far up their own ass we're mocked we're belittled we're hated we're persecuted I have a long memory I can tell you that I have a long memory and I can tell you that I'm not just going to shrug my shoulders when the time comes because folks the time is not coming it's here it's here you've got a couple months to prepare before this man becomes president of the United States and if you think if you are so foolish enough to believe now I have a degree in history so I know what presidents have done in the past if you're foolish enough to believe that a piece of paper the Constitution is going to stop Donald John Trump from doing whatever the hell he wants 
then you are a fool. You are a fool. You, you, you liberals, you ha are just as responsible for the advent of this beast as is the right. You are just as responsible for him. You and your your political correctness and your pushing your agenda into people's brains so much so that they are fearful of even speaking about things like race. Honestly, people are afraid, or they were, but since they're since they have no more uh, no, nothing binding them up anymore once he becomes president you think do you really think you really think that somehow somewhere something's going to stop your liberal agenda with your bullshit sort of I'm right I know I know what's good and just and you better listen to me you're going to be the first ones who are going to get it, and you deserve it. Yes, I know that this is quickly devolving into a rant. That's why I'm trying to get back to this. The truth of the matter is that I can give you verse after verse after verse, and you, those of you who are not going to want to believe it are not going to believe it. I can give you all kinds of evidence. But the most important thing, the most important thing, is what does your gut tell you? When I first saw this man harassing and bullying Megyn Kelly, which is what he did back in October, I guess it was, I wondered Where this man was coming from, this man, okay, what liberals didn't seem to understand because they haven't had to deal with it like Lucy and I have, is that these people out there, these bullies, these bullies, these, these pathetic little boys who can't get a woman, so they spend their time online harassing people because they're angry at the world. We've been dealing with them for years now on our channel, as many of you have. If you have videos at all that are the least bit controversial, you're going to have to deal with trolls. And when I saw this, this guy, Donald Trump, he's the king of the trolls. He's the king of the trolls. I could see that back in the day, and I knew... Once his popularity started going up and they start, they said, why is he so popular? After what he says, he's popular because of what he says. Those of you who have gone out and campaigned and voted for Donald Trump, folks, you're not going to get it in the beginning, but you're going to get it so much worse in the end. You're still holding on to this idea that he's some kind of Cyrus that is what they're calling him now. Cyrus was the Babylonian king that allowed the Israelites, the Israelites had been taken to Babylon as slaves. Cyrus later freed them several years later, like 70 years. I thought it was more than that, but I saw something this morning that said 70 years. 70 years they were in bondage. So an entire generation had passed. Cyrus then frees them to go rebuild the temple. Now, folks, that temple that was rebuilt was not rebuilt to the Elohim. The Elohim is a plurality of gods. That temple that was rebuilt was rebuilt to a Babylonian god, Enlil, which later became called Yahweh or Jehovah. This is a lot of information, and we're just scratching the surface. And considering this is approaching 30 minutes, I think it's best if we sort of continue this conversation later. 
As Donald Trump continues to expose himself, I will continue to expose him. And as you Christians can continue to see this, you are either going to have to come to grips with the reality here. It says that the beast will deceive even the elect if possible. So you still have hope, folks, if you have gone out there and voted for Trump. Perhaps you can come to the grips that you have been deceived. And the pride, the pride of the Christians, this that is going to be broken, folks. You're going to either have to break it yourself or you're going to look at a very, very terrifying future. Colossians 3.8 But now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, obeisance, and obscene talk from your mouth. You Christians fail miserably when it comes to this verse. I have seen I've seen a lot of Christians come out having this antichrist spirit. You are truly antichrist. You think you're for Christ, but you're not. Another one, Matthew 15:8. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And Matthew 7, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The worst part about what I see in these new Christians that are that are falling away from any kind of truth that they once knew through the church, through the Bible, and through Christ is their utter contempt for anyone that's nothing that's that isn't just like them whether they're condemning of of people of other religions or their their uh sexual orientation or whatever it is these new christians you have spent so much time in condemning people outside of your church and accepting anyone, anyone, who tells you that they're a Christian as long as you agree with their vile hatred of other individuals. You're right along with it. You're okay with it. Because what Christianity is today is just a clique of people who you're either you're part of our little clique or you're not. And folks, I'm not part of your clique, nor do I want to be part of your clique. I am not looking forward to being part of your heavenly kingdom. Because, folks, you, you don't believe this as Christians, and you're not going to believe this as Christians. But let me tell you, there are many, many different places that you can go many many different realms of possibility in the spiritual world that you can't possibly comprehend when a baby is born you don't say wow what a wonderful child you have there well is he or she going to grow up to be a policeman or a fireman no you don't say that and in the world to come, it isn't just you go to heaven and it's all this Christian heaven or hell. I know, Christians, you don't believe that. You're never going to believe that. That's the reason why you are still in bondage. You are still slaves. And for all these Christians who believe in this 
rapture, that somehow you're going to escape all this, let me show you this verse. This is Second Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. That day, that is the second coming of Christ, that day shall not come except there be a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. First Thessalonians 5, 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Folks, you are looking into the sky for lights and thunder and deliverance. But this is not how it comes. A thief in the night comes in, you don't re recognize them, they come and then they leave. And that's exactly what's happening, folks. By you not recognizing the truth that is coming out of the mouths of the two witnesses that you're listening to right now. Lucy and I have come into this world for this day, for this time, and for this reason. And you'll continue to ignore us, and you do so at your own peril. This is Shindo. And this is Lucifera. Until next time.